All right, a bit of apologies. I forgot to hit record when I started this episode. I've been talking to myself for the past 20 minutes like a loon. Not that big of a deal. I talk to myself all the time. So, but you remember the bandit's lair that had the skull over it that we went to attack and we got defeated and had to reload the game and so I had to come back. Well, after we defeated that group of bandits at the end of the last episode, that quest one, I came over and checked out that bandit lair and there was no skulls. So I went and I fought and I didn't get any reinforcements. It was a pretty straightforward battle. We won it quite easily. We just put all of our guys on one end and smashed into them. Got to use our legendary hammer a couple of times. I mean, it wasn't that exciting of a battle. But we did get some, you know, some gold. And now here we're looking at the remains of their camp. So here's this dude. The dead body is lying in the snow. Something seems to be hanging from its belt. Lucilla Lund's medallion. Blood is spattered in the letters forming the name Lund that's engraved on the back of the pendant. All right, so we know that... All right, so that gives us plus one willpower, but can we take it back to Lucilla? Maybe give it to her and get something. Now we get a whetstone. Critical hit increased by 10% during an attack from behind. And then we got a blueprint, a watchkeeping stool. It teaches you how to craft watchkeeping stool, okay. Don't know why we would want a watchkeeping stool, but anything's free. We got another. We got some spices. And we got some bass. And we got some mosquito proboscis. Surprisingly flexible and resistant. Probably get proboscises. I thought it was probisci. We dry it and ground it into a powder. We got some pitons. Anything else? We've already inspe right, we can, we already inspected him, right? Yeah, there's nothing hanging from his belt. We can cut some more wood. How are we on weight? Well, we're pretty much overweight already. From all the junk we're carrying around. Because we're carrying around 21 wood. We're getting low on money. we got 420 pounds coming in, 129 going out. So I'm not going to worry about chopping wood at the moment. I'm going to head back to town. Get everybody healed up. And then we've got... We explored those ruins. Now we'll go back, we'll get healed up, and then we'll come down and we'll deal with this. I don't think we got it. We didn't we never went back and got our reward. And now we're going to we never got a reward for them for, for rescuing the woodcutters, and now we're gonna go murder them. Well it's not really murder, they're just kidding. Alright, so we need to go back to Lund Farm, which is all the way over there. So we have <coughs> We have to go that way anyway. When we go back to deal with bandits. Alright, so we're being attacked. Five wolves and one alpha. Alright, so we didn't I don't think we scummed, so we have to do good on this battle. We have to do good on this battle, people. At least they don't have any sort of weird superpowers or weapons. Do they have us surrounded? They do have us surrounded, so we're going to get everybody together. Ulrich, Whisper, Tybalt, Alir in here. Booked in the back, lured here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're good to go. So the first wolf is going to be the Alpha, and then the second wolf is going to be that guy. So I'm going to have Tybalt move close enough to do something about the wolves. All right. Guess not. All right, so Tibble's gonna go ahead and shoot this guy. There's quite a bit of damage to him. Pretty good. Might even be able to finish him off if we get a good critical hit. Yep, so that's one wolf down, and we got ourselves a, a temporary point. So now we'll go ahead and end our turn. Now the alpha wolf's gonna come and do something. Goodness gracious, that was quite the smack. Okay. But now we know, all right, so this wolf is going to move. So this is the alpha, right? We're going to go ahead and smack down the alpha. That's my goal. Smack down the alpha. Because they don't have any armor. That's a good thing about fighting wolves. They don't really do take care of their armor very well. And like I said, they don't have, I mean, they do some pretty good damage, but they don't have, um... I don't know what I'm going to say. You just deal with the people. 
Capture. When an enemy has less than half their health left, use the chains or rope to capture them. Place one of your units next to an engaged enemy to try and capture them. Continue. Do we want to try and capture them? Knock out an enemy. They will take him prisoner. And we have rope. So let's try it. Let's see if we can capture ourselves a wolf. 62% chance. Captured. Hey, and we captured ourselves an alpha wolf. too. I'm going to have him move up here to get out of range. So this could have been a pretty good... Pretty good misfortune. Everything works out for the best, as they say. I'm here. This is just your standard everyday wolf. I'm going to go ahead and use... Oh, no, we can't use... Yeah, we can use encouragement. And give him protection for all our good friends. Here we go. Two turns of protection. So now we'll finish off these wolves and we'll look at our new friend. How many wolves can we capture? All right, so now we're galvanized. So the wolves are already losing their will to fight. So this wolf cannot move anymore. So he can go here. Aim Lucilla's Revenge. There. Good to go. In this turn, and this wolf's going to run over and try to bite somebody. Probably not a good idea to try and bite that person. Wolf. Whisper's going to run here and get around behind him. Or her. It could be a she-wolf. Okay, so now we're almost into our turn. This guy, what's he going to do? As long as he doesn't do anything to prevent me from doing this. Right, there we go. A new round is starting. I'm going to go ahead and trigger this. Yeah, one shot, one kill. Run over there. All right, in his turn. So which wolf goes first? But so this wolf is gonna go first. So I'm gonna have him go over there and keep him engaged. We'll go over to this side. We got two temporary points, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Give him a go kick in the shins, and then give him a gold slice with the pig sticker. I guess I should call it a wolf sticker. Because it's certainly not sticking any pigs right now, is it? In the turn, the wolves don't like to run away, I guess. They're very proud, proud folk, these wolves. There we go. So now that should get us some wolf hides. Some wolf meat. Wolf, so we got some more fangs. More grease. Some leather. There we go. We have to repair everybody again. Okay, so now we have an alpha. The animal was captured in combat and was added to your camp. Actions, we can execute it or free it. Or we can look at it. He's ready to level up. Look at him. He looks so cute, doesn't he? Kills, ferocious bite. And sharp fangs. He is injured. Use medicine. Alright, we're going to use our medicine on a wolf, Okay. And so we got two to go up. So he's already got Constitution plus 19. We'll go ahead and... Oh, we can't do that. We'll go ahead and do this one time. And then I'll go ahead and do this one time. There we go. In his specialization, what is our wolf going to specialize in? Being a pack? There's not at least three wolves. Or self-sacrifice. Well, this unit is not engaged in combat, but near an ally it gains fragility but gives protection to the ally i'm right, gonna go ahead and do this so i guess we need to start building up a pack of wolves now are the wolves going to get feisty how much are these wolves going to eat now right, we need to get back to the road oh speaking of road go there I don't know why all of our save games are labeled early access. I mean, I know why they're labeled early access, but I figured that now since early access has come to an end, it wouldn't be that way. Yeah, right, so now we're out of the mountains. What are the Brotherhood training grounds? What do we what do they have here again? I don't remember exactly what they have here. Hulk. Oh. If one of your companions doesn't carry their weight, don't be afraid to teach. Oh, so we can learn new skills. We can help you with that, for a price. All right, we don't have three hundred to spare at the moment. Soon we will. 
but not at the moment. We're going to follow this road around, I guess. A little bit longer. What happens if we get hit by one of those bolts of lightning? Or if we can get hit by one of those bolts of lightning? So there's only one other thing we have to do. In, all right, so there's two other quests in Tiltron that I'm aware of. There's the... Killing that... You know, following the hunt for that creature that leaves all the blood on the road. And then there's finishing off the leader of the refugee bandit. So there's the blood. So all we have to do is come down here and follow this. And then follow this trail. And it'll lead us into the woods where we fight the fight that pack. It has lots of reinforcements. It's all I remember about it. It has lots of reinforcements. So we're going to take care of them last. Because I think they're probably actually going to be tougher than the... It's going to be a tougher battle than the refugee leader. The Traveler's Feast Inn. Hulk. Might you be looking for work? Our role as emissaries is to ensure that all service requests are fulfilled. Isn't it cool? Update our job offers. Isn't it cool hearing their voices now? A review. If we're still doing that one. Terminate rat infestation. Do you people really want to see a rat infestation battle? You really want to see it. Because it is tough. It's only 240, and we're not doing any alchemy at the moment, so I'm just not going to worry about it. Vanquish Godolin Squad. So it's an easy one, but it's 210 gold. And it's in the direction that we'll be going. So it's right down there near Lund Farm. So it's like, like we'd be silly not to do it. So how much are our wages now? 129. So let's go check and see if we can sell some stuff. Go to Master Uden's Forge and see what we got in the old hopper here. Oops, why did I do that? Alright, I don't want to camp in town. Alright, let's talk. You can use my anvil. I can also repair your armor. I don't want to use that. I don't know how much we can how much we want to sell. What is it that weighs so much? Let's sort it. Can we sort it by weight? Obviously, our weights, the pottery weighs a lot. Now we can sell this for 57, which is more than we bought it for, and it's going to free up some weight. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. So yeah, we only made 7 profit. So the 25 times 6, the beans, the beans, does this mean they're 1 each? Clearly not. That must be the 1 each. Beans at a certain atmosphere at any campfire. Hilarious. Now we don't want to sell that because we'll lose money. Alright, so let's leave. Alright, so let's do we have any weapons? I want to keep this or sell it. The annihilation skill. The attack ignores guard. Strength plus five ignore. I'm gonna go ahead and sell it. I'm gonna go ahead and keep using the pounder. ECH pounder weapon. Alright, so let's leave. Let's go ahead and how many how many we got seven of those? Oh, Go ahead and leave. Let's see if we can do anything with the forge. He is an experienced blacksmith. And so what's our main thing we're missing? The main thing we're missing is iron ore at the moment. We got all these vials. Yeah, we can sell these vials back to... You can use my anvil. Oops. Sell the vials back to the... Apothecarist. Seems like they would give us some Vile sort of concoctions can heal the most grievous injuries. Be right. sure to hold on to the vials after using them. Yes, we're going to. All right, so the vials are gone. We've still got three medicine. I want to carry two medicine at all times. And low on medicine here. And right, so we got some trinkets. White rarity. Are trinkets rare? The filtron hunt. We want to keep that. We want to keep the whetstone. Real carp are apparently fairly rare. Okay. You want to say so? And so we're still we're still at 130. We gotta get some ore so we can do something with all this wood. Unless we make that clockmaker's thing. I think we can sell some of the wood. How much wood are we carrying? Let's call it. There we go. That gives us a little bit of space. We got this sandstone. 
component for what? I don't know. Flowers. Flower growing in the sandy soil of the coast. Sell for two. But see, I don't know what it's going to be. It's obviously going to be important to somebody later. And so everything's taken care of here. We can't craft because we don't have anybody that's a... We got thief, tinker, cook, miner, anger, blacksmith, woodcutter. Good. We can't make our wolf a member of the squad, unfortunately. So now we're going to head on down to Party Town. We got some medicine, so we're going to head it. So the Fate of Tiltron Hammer for Hire. If the horseshoe fits, I'm not going to buy another horse. We're going to go down here and do this, and then we can get some mine. Get some mine. That salt will get some iron ore. Yep, so we're just... Okay, so now we need to rest. We don't have to pay this time around, I don't think. We do this. So we can make some wolf sausage now. We can make one wolf sausage. Still, one wolf sausage is better than no wolf sausage. Normal quality dish. New recipe, venison skewers. I don't see it there. Done that. Can he do anything? Confirm. Well, who can make that chest? Or not the chest, it was the... Hmm. Don't need any of this stuff. Do we? Do we have any fish hooks? Yeah, we got six fish hooks. And so everything here seems to be good to go. So let's go ahead and... And... Do this. Go ahead and use our smoked sardine. Two of those. Oh, we got a lot of... Troops will be on unha oh, unpaid wages. Yeah, I'm not going to do that to my companions. I'll pay their wages. What kind of a monster do I look like? Alright, so there we go. Everybody's all happy now, even though we're sitting in the middle of a rainstorm. But I'm not going to question them. They want to be happy sitting in a rainstorm. That's it. Do we want which one of these do we want to do first? We're going to try. We're going to go. We're going to do the deal with the humans first. Then I want to see what our our Wolfie does in combat. Now I'm not going to be too concerned about Wolf. Now if you're animal lover, sorry. But I just think that managing these wolves is going to be kind of a. Okay, so there's only three of them. I think we're not going to have much of a problem with them. I'm not going to... Go to Lind... Go Godolin all the mean. And he's a corporal. Level one. So I guess I can see why this was easy. A henchman and a raider. Now this should definitely be one of those fights that is auto-resolvable. Oh, we did get something here in the book. I'll have to look that up here in a second. So now... Where's the bad guys? Well, there's the henchman. He's standing in the mud. You know how those henchmen are. I'm going to make them come to us. I'm not going to sit here and... You know, I'm not going to do their job for them. They're going to come to me. We got, oh, we got some people over here. We can put Ubrick over here. Delir and Whisper. Whisper can move quite far. All right, so we'll just go ahead and have Ubrick come here. There's their leader, Golden All the Mean. There we go. I'm not going to use our... Oh, I got a temporary one, which I have to use. Alright, so now he's already feeling the hurt of combat. Can Illyrian get to him? No, but Illyrian can get to him. Whisper can definitely get to him. I want to engage Whisper in combat. What about Beatus? Beatus can't get to him. Lure definitely can't get to him. What about the wolf? I guess the wolf... Um, NPC? I guess the wolf does their own thing. So Liren can get to... No, that dude's got a hammer. If Liren goes there... He'd be in the path of the hammer swing. There we go. End his turn. Guy's gonna use his axe. Now we'll have Whisper go up and do a little bit of the old stab any stab on this dude. Or on this person. 
Okay, so the raider is now poisoned, which we like. End our turn again. Our archer. 76% chance. Oops. Have the archer move here. And that should make it into a hundred percent chance. There we go. Now we're galvanized already. The only other bad guys are up here, so can he reach that guy? No. And he can't move. We'll end our turn. Well, like, yeah, so that guy's so that guy's doing that. So we gotta try and make sure we finish him off before he gets to use his turn. Well, so it could be bad news for us, friends. Like that. That kind of bad news. We run up there. In our turn. He's gonna run up there, but we should have figured out a way to put them all a little bit closer, but that's fine. Now the wolf acts on his own. Or her own. And she runs straight into the muck. So now it's our turn again, so Whisper is going to finish off this raider. All right. There we go. So now we don't have to worry about that. Now we don't have to worry about being stabbed. You can go ahead and hit, hit him. And then apply protection. End his turn. Now this guy's going to attack. Only does three because of the deflection. So now we should be able to get some decent damage in on him. Stab, I said. Yeah! I don't know what he was thinking. They just ran right at us like they... Like they knew what they were doing. And now, his watch has ended. Nobody leveled up. I'm not going to worry about repairing at the moment. I don't think his arm... Our arm is not that damaged. we got a fugitive's hammer, that, that. Of course, we're not going to carry their corpses with us. That would be ridiculous. Alright, so now we're going to go down here and see what this is all about. we got to go to Lund Farm. Which is right there. And see if she wants her if she wants her pendant back. Maybe we'll get something for giving her a pendant back. Something better than a willpower plus one. Or maybe not. If she doesn't give us anything, we can always just No, we're not gonna murder her. Silly people. If silly people, we wouldn't do that to her. Mistrina Lun. We did mad with grief. Her father chased after them to right, so we can give her the medallion. We caught up with them. They... What? You have Lucilla's they... necklace? necklace? You can't begin to understand how much this means to me. I can't thank you enough. You deserve much more than this. But it's all I have. All right. Sweet little Lucilla. May they all sing. We've gained 80 crowns and 20 influence. Bill can't steal from her, though. I can't believe you people are wanting me to steal from this poor woman. Now yeah, let's look at our characters for a second. I want to look at um oh I didn't want to camp. Idols, bloodthirsty, and critical hit, five percent chance of resisting poisoning. Do we have anybody have anything bad? So he got giant. Strength and dexterity increased by five percent. When a two handed we oh well. Well I guess well I guess is the um is the bow considered a two handed weapon? Brawny Glorious and tough. Whisper is nimble, clever pickpocket. Costs plus three in wages. Earns 5% more experience. Dexterity increased by 5%. Uber shield connoisseur. 5% additional guard. Solitary. Damage increased by 10% if not next to an ally in combat, which is good since he's using the smasher. Better guard. Okay, so does that. Hard working. 24% more profession and willpower increased by two. And beat us is stocky and a heavy sleeper. Does not reduce the escapability of nearby prisoners. Pony is stocky and Alpha is carnivorous, confident, and cowardly. Okay. 
seems a bit weird. All right, Compendium. So we now have another knowledge point so we can get something new. Cooking, do we want to get something new from the cooking pot? Do we want to get something new from the anvil? Ghost Mace, Ghost Axe, or Ghost Gladius? Experienced. Light Pony Plate or a Ghost Buckler? I don't know what we want from here, if anything. We've got all the apprentice stuff, but we are experienced. I wish I knew how much these. Now right, we'll go ahead and learn it. We'll have to look at the recipe. Speaking of which, you went to learn watchkeeping stool? Yes. Good. Now, what is watchkeeping stool? Reduces the chance of being attacked during arrest. Reduces the chance prisoners will escape. Oh, so a watchkeeping. I was thinking like a watch repair. <laughs> you know, like you repair watches that you wear on your wrist. That's what you guys were thinking, right? Okay, so there's that. Break camp. Save the game. I am so tired. Why is, why is he so tired, you ask? Well, for some reason, I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning last night. Sirens went by, and I couldn't go back to sleep. Then today, all the other teachers were out at some strange meeting, so a bunch of us other teachers that didn't go to the meeting had to fill in for the whole school. So I taught kindergarten today, which is not that big of a deal. I taught kinder, I've taught kindergarten many times. But when you're teaching kindergarten and you've only had three hours sleep, it's not quite as fun as it normally is. And yes, teaching kindergarten is quite fun. And believe it or not, it's not that much different than teaching any other grade. Some people might think that teaching kindergarten would be harder than teaching middle school, or middle school would be harder than teaching kindergarten, but it's not. The lads were starting to think you wouldn't come. But I knew you would keep your word. Let's go and get rid of those intruders. So is the Lady Maris actually going to fight with us? It's a level 3 Edoran refugees. We've got two allies. And so we've got or six of them plus Fergus. I wonder what our reward's going to be if we win this fight. And Fergus, you notice Fergus didn't say, Hey, how about you not fight us? Fergus knew what was going to happen. Fergus knew what was going on. I don't know why we have leaders inspiration, but I'll take it. There's people everywhere. Is this a good marauder or a bad marauder? So it seems like there's a foot shoulder, lured brute, a ooked here. Where's Whisper? Whisper could go and help in that little bit of battle. There's that. So which one is our first one gonna move? There's the second person. Where's the first person? Where is he at? There he is. Nope. There's a poacher. He must be hidden. How dare he hide? Oh, there's... Oh, that's the... That's one of the good guy poachers. Anyway, let's have our... Alright, let's just... Let's just do this. Whisper, go finish him off. There. That moved the morale a little bit. But now she can move back towards the front lines. Okay, so this guy... Is going to be fine. So he's not going to die. So we don't have to worry about that. Now one of the foot soldiers from the army. He took a shot at my alpha wolf. That was rude. Now this poacher. Shot at a foot. Uh, shot at Beatus. Okay. And now it's one of the other ones. So that's. There we go. Is that the mayor? No. And so now it's our turn. So we just want to go through and finish them off one by one, as we normally do. Uh, Aliran could go over and engage this person. There we go. We want to go ahead and use encouragement? No. She's going to go ahead and use deflection. In turn. And so one of the foot soldiers is dead. Not much we can do about all of them. We can't save everybody. But maybe Ubrick can save another one. And so Ubrick can... Goodness. He just lost a lot of stuff there. Ubrick is going to go and... Finish off this dude. 
Then can Ubrick move again? Yes, Ubrick can then go here. And we're gonna have to use one of our points. It'll get rid of another bad guy. Which does move the bar. Go here. By that I mean the uh, morale bar. These guys seem to hit pretty hard. And so now we've got him. This man here. No, there's the lady mayor. The lady mayor. I'm going to go here and attack this guy from behind. Why I ought to pound you. There we go. A nice little chunk of damage. Now we could finish him off. Now he's got 21. We'll end our turn. I want to see what the mayor is going to do. Look, there they're going after a wolf again. When's our wolf going to get to do something? Yikes. And now he could go almost the end of... I don't know if we're almost the end of our turn. So he could go here. And then aim at these two hoodlums. So he might actually do some pretty good... Whoops. I don't think he's in the range of that. In turn... Now this dude's gonna... He better not shoot me. Alright, so he hit that marauder. He hit that hoodlum, which is good. Now our wolf's gonna do something. That was the lady mayor. She shot at somebody and then she ran away. Tactical retreat. Now I get to move again. Kind of worried about how low he is. Because all of our armor is gone. Go here and help out Mr. Wolf. Disengages the wolf, which is good. Poison. Now, what's the wolf going to do? All right, so the wolf took away his, all of his guard, at least. Now, this foot soldier is going to run to his certain doom. He's only got like half a point. Did he just throw a... Did he just kill one of my people? I don't think so. That wouldn't happen, would it? Now, he's going to move here. And then shoot... Wang. And we do have a point we can use to keep him from going much further. And he's quite low. The Liren unlocked the trait instinct. Okay, I don't know how that happened. And so a new round is starting. So here's our hammer dude. I'm going to trigger this. How do you like that? How do you like them crab apples? Now we're gonna run up here. End our turn. Alright, so our wolf is gone. Not good. Alright, so one of the foot soldiers there takes care of him. And now another foot soldier gets to move. Is he gonna finish up another one? There we go. Is everybody gonna be galvanized yet? Nope. So now it's our turn to move. Could he get close enough to finish off this dude? Fergus refugee leader or the poacher? Want him dead. Once he's dead, I'm pretty sure the will to fight is going to be going out of these people quite a bit. Now the lady mayoress, is she going to be able to get in range to finish him off? Be quite fitting for her to deal the killing blow. And so now we are galvanized. I thought they would lose some more morale than that. I guess they didn't love their leader as much as I thought they did. The whisper can get down here. There we go. Luca Brazzi says hello. Go up here. Oops. He just walked into a cloud of poison, which is, you know. He's just brave like that. So now we just gotta finish off. How many more of them do we have to finish off to make them to convince them to leave? This is the Lady Maris. There's only two of them left, right? There's the Marauder. But he's a good Marauder or a bad Marauder. It looks like he's got green behind him. I'm guessing green means they're an ally. Poacher will take their turn. Okay, so. Ubrick. Can Ubrick get to this 
anything? Yes, he can. That is a nice... That was a nice little chunk of damage there. You're gonna go here. Stab, stab, stab. Another poacher dead. But who is left? In turn. Where's the where's the last poacher? Where's the last bad guy? That's the mayor, that's Ubrick. The Lyran. Where could he be hiding? Up here somewhere? I mean surely he's gonna come towards us. Let's in turn and see what happens. Oh, uh, wait a minute. So, Lured Brute, where are you? Yeah, I, I do want to end your turn without taking the action. Right, so, somebody down here is what it is. Okay. Somebody hiding down here in this fog. Should have known. Aha! There he is. Can't attack him, though. The new round is starting, but now he can get here. I like how they can hide in the fog. It's very, very realistic. In turn. Alright, so who else can... Alright, so now the other... One of the other foot soldiers is going. One of the other foot soldiers is going. Better not shoot me, buddy. If you can shoot him, that's fine. But if you hit me, I'm going to be very cross with you. Alright, so... Vetus, it's up to you, buddy. Finish him off. There we go. Is that really all of them this time? Very good. Alpha's body, you can bury them wherever you want. I'm not going to. Jacket. This. Great pig iron. Two-handed axe. And sell it. Valuable gambeson, a level 3 one, and a lock pick. It's 63 and 22. Now I'll repair everything. Nobody leveled up. Again. Continue. Yes, I do. So let's see what Lady Maris Contrande says now. Any last words, Ruffian? Why? Why won't you leave us in peace? In peace? Why would we do such a thing? You've destroyed our farms, ransacked our villages, stolen our grain, and brought Ederanian soldiers in your wake. You've done nothing but cause problems. We had no other choice. You refused to open your doors and take us in. And just as we were starting to rebuild the haven, you laid waste to the place. What? This ruin? That's enough. You wouldn't survive the winter months if you stayed here. For your insolence and the trouble you've caused, I hereby condemn you to the gallows. As for these refugees, they must leave Tiltron or suffer the same fate. Ah! Mercenaries. <laughs> Words cannot express how grateful I am for your help. Thanks to you, the locals will rest easy tonight. Well, that's good. I like to know the locals. The real cap when you get a chance. We will welcome our saviors with open arms. Please hmm. accept these gifts from our craftsmen and merchants in consideration for your invaluable help. So we get 200, which is one wages. One, then we get a border pass. But where does the border pass allow us to go? You have finished the Tiltron scenario. It is time to explore other regions, but we still haven't finished everything here, have we? Let's check out our paths. So we got two. Get two peepees. We get two peepees for the blacksmith. All right, and then we get a PP for recklessness. Spend twenty non-temporary valor points. That's reckless, I guess. And then we get. And now we're famous. We gained a hundred influence. But there we go. So now we get to unlock the next level of in glory. Oh, we get another one for bounty hunter. Okay. Oh, we get another one for reckless one. Wow. So we're almost already to the next one. The next power and glory level three. So what do we want? Left hand specialist, improved restoration, strict rationing, champion craftsman. 
forged armor. I don't. I don't even know. I haven't even seen an armor layer slot yet. Armor, armor layer. Trade of forged goods. Your troop can count on substantial income from the forged. Sale price of weapons increased by ten percent per quality point. Hmm. And left hand specialist forging left hand weapons requires minus one parts of each type. Hard to. All right. So strict rationing is three less food, which really hasn't been that much of an issue. Hmm. Right, let's do this. I think that once we do have the layers, that's going to be very important. So we got a good payer for trade and craftsmanship. Rest 10 times with no wages left to pay. Very good. We got a point for the Reaper. And we got a point for Encyclopedist. Then five knowledge points. And then we got five, four PPs for 100 region scenario points. All right, so things are moving right along. We got another level for mysteries and wisdom. So we got just a scratch already. Companions are less prone to be injured in battle, which seemed to be very helpful. Run endurance increased by 20%. Animals have reduced aggression range and give the chase faster. The troop eats three less food. Well, if we had that with that, that would be six less food. Purging a rat nest also gains 20 influence or trucker's language. Hmm. Which one of these do we want? Exterminators. 20 influence. Rat's nest. We're not going to be doing that much to them. Three less food. I think this. I think we'll get be able to get good items from the truckers. Anything else here that we can help ourselves to? A new hemp. We just put that hemp everywhere these days. Nothing else that Haven has left behind. We didn't get to, you know. Oh, I thought it's all locked. All right, there is a chest all the way up here locked. What if I had not noticed that? All right, so there you go, Mrs. Apprentice. All right, how many? Oh, we got five lock picks. This is going to be difficult. Maybe there's one place that wants us to find the golden... A yeah, golden key for one thing. There we go. Got that one. It looks like we're almost there. Dang it. Almost there. There we go. So I think we should be able to pull this off with our remaining ones. We do it like that. There we go. See our little cheer. You see that little cheer? We have 14 crowns, a currency commonly used around the world. Ether and wine, vinegar, claiming to be wine, increases the troops' happiness by one. Cloth and prayer book is a dedicated to the I and Jeru. And they said that we would be considered the new Jeru. Look at all the money we have. There's the haven. Here comes some people to visit the Haven. They're going to be sorely disappointed, I'm afraid. Oh, it seems the market has dried up a bit in Haven. I'm guessing all these other areas. So what is this? So do we have the border pass actually in our inventory? It allows you to cross the border without needing to pay. Does it allow us to cross any border? And since we can cross multiple borders, which border should we go to next? Is there one that's... Is there one of these other regions that is more along our ability? Now, we had the quest that wants us to go over to that one, so maybe that's where we should go. Oh, we need to rest. Don't have to pay this time. Let's do this. Use. Go ahead and use... Well, go ahead and use these beans. Since they're so ding dang heavy. There we go. We'll go ahead and use one of those carp. There we go. Yeah, yeah. I think we are going to have to worry about making our pony more. How many saddlebags can we put? We can only have one saddlebag. We might have to look at getting another pony for carrying all of our stuff. So maybe we should stop by and get another pony. Ride the pony.
Uh, continue. And there was actually a quest to buy a pony right there at the Plateau Stables. We don't have any coupons for the Plateau Stables. We got 1,300 crowns, and we've got 210 crowns still coming to us for finishing off that one dude. We'll need to go to the salt mines. Go and get some ore. This, I like how it says just pick up, but we still have to, still have to mine it. There we go. I'm glad there's not, well, I don't want to, I don't want to jinx myself. I was going to say I'm glad there's only one type of ore, but there could be many types of ore. We just haven't found them yet. There's more over there. How is our weight? 128. So the iron ore is not too bad. Got to make sure we do it right this time. Would help if I wasn't talking while doing this. Probably also help too if I wasn't exhausted. And you know how the body is. I'm exhausted and then when it comes time to go to sleep, my body's going to be like, sorry. <coughs> Who are we stealing from? I don't see anybody here. But if the game says we're stealing, we're stealing. We're honest folk. And like those refugees who came in here trying to ruin our lands. There's the hills that we came down out of when we first awoke in this county, I believe. Yep. The stables are over this direction. Now, there's the hills we woke up on because the stables were right down at the bottom. It's like they wanted us to buy... They wanted us to buy a horse forthwith. Which I kind of think is a trap. Hawk. We want to talk to her. Although the war in Edoran has been a boon for my business, I cannot help but feel for my poor ponies. Aww. I can tell you aren't soldiers. Take them with you if you can. Did she say we weren't soldiers? Kind of rude. I'll tell you what. Buy a horse from us, and I'll throw in the horseshoes for free. All right, so let's get a horse. Which one do we want? We want pony, pony, pony. Let's talk to him. So we can adopt him, 180, inspect him, so he's level 3, 6, 3, 18, 7, are they all going to have the same spec, 6, 3, 18, 15, 6, 3, 18, 15, check this one, 6, 3, 18, 17, so what about this one? 6, 3, 18, 15. So I think these two ponies here. So let's adopt this one. Pony is your companions. Think it's a great idea. I don't really give a... I mean, I'm great that my companions are happy with it. So let's see if he's... Is he going to give us these? Please accept for the eye's sake. Use them on your new steed. What else am I going to use them on? The pony needs to level up. Equipment, this we can give him, but it, unless we have it on both of them, what difference does it matter? He's a work pony. I'm not really worried about having a battle pony. It seems kind of weird, if you ask me. Can he do two things? Oh, it's over here. So movement is plus two. No. Bring. Does it increase his carrying capacity? Nope. Do that and then willpower. I'm not worried about his critical hit. All right, so now let's go back to Strom Cap, collect our goods, and then we'll go after that beast slaying people in the fields. See, we'll follow that up into the woods. First, we feast. All right, so go to the. Do you have anything to say to us now? Happy to see you. Finally, we can show you the true Stromcap. A thriving, peaceful, honest community. We have rid our streets of these wretched refugees. Yeah, yeah. You're very... What a beautiful town. Anything different over here? You can use my anvil. I can also repair your armor. Filter and restoration, so no. Alright, so let's go ahead and use our forge if there's anything new we can make. Iron Great Falchion. 
Two-handed axe, one-handed mace. Full arm, offhand, shield, basic armor. I thought we had some ghosts. Did we get some ghost stuff? So ghost gladius. White leather and coal. So there's the rub. We still can make some added armor. Reinforced plate armor. Didn't we already make that though? Yeah, so it's nothing new. It's still the same junk we've made before. So we don't can't make a better shield for anybody. Iron spear. Did we already make a spear for our good friend who's carrying a spear? Venus, did we make this spear? Yes, we did. She's using an iron falchion we made. He's using that. He's using a quality le level one iron falchion. I think maybe we can upgrade his. So let's try making his again. And so let's exit. Save. Cheating. Yes, I know. Overwrite. Yes. Continue. Alright, so back here. Forge. This. These. And these. Yes, I want to forge it. That's why I said forge it. So we got plus one iron falchion. So this is a it's still just level one strength. So it's the same superior quality item obtained. It's the same thing. There's no difference than what we already had, right? Yep. So there's nothing to do but to sell it. You can use my anvil. I can also repair your armor. We have 40 for it. I guess it's all right. But what about armor? Is anybody wearing? So he's wearing deserters brigandine, corporal's plate armor. Nobody's wearing rags still, right? Everybody's still got medium armor on. Where do we get the? Where do we get that stuff? That's what I want to know. Outlaw's tabard. So this is light armor. Level two light armor. Can we make better than that? Can we make better than that? Let's try that. Padded light armor. Padded jacket. Movement plus two, armor plus 18. Plus two, plus 18. Yeah, I think we can do better than that. So let's make a padded jacket. And we'll get knowledge progress for doing it. Plus one padded, well crafted jacket, reinforced with leather in its most vital parts. So there we go. So now our archer is going to be able to wear better armor. And that is going to be a darn good piece of armor because we got three armor layers we can put on it if we ever get armor layers. So now we can... We have a bunch of extra junk. So great pig iron. Let's sell that. Let's go ahead and sell that. And the jacket we just... There we go. I'm going to hold on to that for a little bit. Get rid of that. Now we can leave and exit. And that's going to be the end of this episode because, like I said, I am exhausted. And then, so when we come back in the next episode, we'll take on the beast or whatever they want to call him. So thank you for being here and I will see you soon.